Well, hi you guys. I'm doing another video here for Through Night, and I really am excited to talk about this light right here. This is so far out of all the flashlights that Through Night has sent me. This one right here is the best EDC light, and I'm going to explain why this one is the best. This is how it comes, and it's in uh, cool white. This comes in this plain little box right here. And underneath it has its uh, specs sheet, comes with a USB-C charger right here, charging cable. Let's take a look at this flashlight. Now this flashlight is a rockin' cool flashlight and I'm going to explain why this one is the best in my opinion. And it's not only because it's super bright in the dark. For night hiking, camping, getting out of the woods, if you're in the woods longer than you thought you'd be. It's got a nice uh, deep carry belt clip here on it, but it's a uh, couple things. This one has a removable battery, and it's got an improved tail switch. So let me show you the difference between the Saber and the Archer Pro. This is the V2. They have a couple different Archer Pro uh, flashlights, but this one does not have... A removable battery this one you have to open it up and you charge it via the USB port right there and then you screw it back closed but it does not have a removable battery and the tail switch is so light that you could easily bump that on to turn accidentally turn the flashlight on whereas on the Sabre you can see the difference in the tail buttons there this one's got a much heavier spring where you really got to push it on and off so you can't just accidentally just lightly tap it and bump it and turn this flashlight on like you can with the, the Archer Pro so that is a great improvement right there it's got a much stronger tail switch so there's no way you're gonna turn this puppy on carrying it in your purse or your backpack or your EDC bag in your pocket this will not turn on in your pocket so that's why this one is the best EDC flashlight that Through Night has come out with yet for a small compact flashlight. And as you can see there, they are basically the same length. Same length. This one is just a little skinnier diameter than the Archer Pro. So this little Sabre flashlight is rockin' cool. And it's got a removable battery, and I love that. Now, it does not come with a battery, but let me explain why this is still an awesome deal. You can either buy the Through Night 920 milliamp battery that is rechargeable via USB right there, USB-C, with this cable, and the top of the battery will glow red, which I'll show here in the video when you're charging, and it will turn off when it's fully charged. But here's the awesome thing. If you didn't want to buy one of their milliamp batteries, this Sabre will also run on any rechargeable or regular alkaline AA battery like I have here for my old cameras in the past doing my YouTube channel. I have these Eneloop Pro Panasonic batteries. You can, you can throw just a regular AA battery in it and you still got a flashlight. There's low, there's high. So that's what's great about this is that you can use any AA battery. Really, really cool. So if you had a couple extra batteries with you and you're out on a camping trip, you don't have to worry about being without a light source. And that battery charges fast, let me tell you what. Fantastic little light right here. And uh, it's got a nice clip on it. It's got some nice light machine knurling on here for grip. And it's got a nice tail grip here on it. And the nice thing about it, you guys, is that it's really easy to find the switch in the dark when it's on the tail versus ones that are on the side. You have to turn the flashlight and rotate it around and feel for that button on the side of the of the flashlight, which can, in the dark, can make it very difficult to turn the flashlight on. I know I've had problems with that in the past. Sometimes I wish they would make that light button um, glow in the dark to where, you know, once the light is on, just the light that it illuminates would be enough to charge that, that button to where you'd be able to see it in the dark. Some some type of feature like that would be great so you can find that button in a hurry. But with it right on the tail switch that you really have to press to turn on for low and then high, that strong button right there is not 
going to turn on. Now you can long press it, push and hold down and turn the light on, but you've got to really push, you guys. This is not something that's going to turn on when it's in your pack, your purse, or your pocket. Whereas this one, very easy. Hardly even touch that and it turns on. Very responsive, whereas this one's got the heavy spring. So that's why I think right now that Through Night has developed the ultimate small compact EDC flashlight that will fit in anything that you carry. And you don't have to worry about it being turned on accidentally. You can clip it to your pocket or put it deep in your pocket. And it throws out a wicked light. So it's nice and bright, you guys, both on low and high. So let's look at the specs here. With the Through Night uh, 920 milliamp battery, High is 659 lumens and low is 57 lumens. With a regular AA rechargeable alkaline battery, high is 235, low is 24. It is impact resistant to 1.5 meters and is waterproof to 2 meters. I really like this. And thanks, thank you through night for sending me this flashlight and thank you for letting me review it. And thanks for listening on uh, making it with an interchangeable battery and putting a much stronger tail button on here to turn it on. I really like that. That's the way they should make all their flashlights that have a tail switch like that. I also wish there was a way they could put that same kind of switch on the side because with it raised up, you'd be able to feel it really fast in the dark and find that button in a hurry. With them making them flush to the body, it does make it a little difficult to find that that power button in the dark. Very high quality aircraft aluminum grade flashlights and uh, that have always been reliable and have never failed on me ever whatsoever in the field. And I use their flashlights all the time, both camping in the outdoors and at home. It's got a nice orange peel lens right there. There's no hot spot in the light. And um, it throws out a very nice wide beam to see where you're going down the trail at night. So this is definitely a flashlight that I'm going to swap out with the Archer Pro because I've been carrying this on my EDC bag at all times, even when I go on day hikes, because you never know when you could get stranded in the woods. But I was always wary about this uh, switch that could be easily depressed and turned on with almost no effort. So now that they got one with a strong switch on it, I'm swapping out the Archer Pro for the Sabre, and this is going to go on my day pack now. This is one I'm going to carry all the time. It'd be nice to pick up a couple of these, throw one in your vehicle, throw one in your pack, have one at home on your nightstand next to your bed in case you have to get up in a hurry in the middle of the night for only $19.99. You can't go wrong, you guys. This is a superb flashlight for that little amount of money. So let's go outside and see how this thing does out in the dark, you guys. I think you're going to be very impressed. Here's the Sabre on low. This is the low setting. Still pretty bright for low. I can see out here in my yard pretty good. It's getting pretty dark. It's not totally dark yet, but dark enough. And this is the low setting. Very impressed with this little flashlight that also runs on a AA battery. Now I'll click it off and click it back on, and there's the highest setting. Very, very bright. Very bright. Throws out plenty of light at night. To hike at night, to get out of the woods after dark. If you're in the woods on a hike longer than anticipated. This light really packs some power for a small flashlight. And it's got a nice broad beam on it. There's no real hot spot and I really like that in a flashlight. I like having a broad beam. So yes, I am digging this. Very cool light you guys. For the money, man you can't go wrong. Check out the links down below. Check out this flashlight. I think you guys will really like this one because there's no way that this little light right here is going to accidentally turn on in a purse, in a backpack, in an EDC bag, wherever you may need to carry this because it's got a strong spring thumb switch. Low, 
off, high. Nice strong switch. Check it out, you guys. Awesome little flashlight. Okay, there you guys go. The brand new through night Sabre EDC flashlight with improvements. Very good flashlight. Check out the links I'll leave down below, you guys. Pick yourself up one, maybe a couple of them, and check them out for yourself. You will not be disappointed. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.